Hey everybody, want to do a uh, video on some fuses I made a while back. And uh, this is, uh, I kept them stored in here with some uh, uh, silica gel. Um, uh, oxygen, or not oxygen absorbers, but moisture absorbers and some rice just to keep them dry. Uh, they've been in here since uh, before uh, the 4th of July, now it's October. So I've been in here probably about uh, four months or so. And I uh, wanted to see how they did. Now, I, I didn't do a video on, on how to make these, but uh, I can in the future if anybody would be interested in it. But it's about a 40-60 mixture, or 60-40 of KNO3 uh, potassium nitrate uh, to sugar. So 60% uh, potassium nitrate, 40% sugar. And depending on how big of a batch you want to uh, make, you can um, uh, make smaller batches with those numbers. Okay, so uh, anyway, um, you, you, the, the material I used here is, is, is cotton string. And um, these work real great. Uh, I even, even I, I got it to work uh, underwater, which was pretty darn cool. Um, don't worry about the wood deck. I'll, I'll pick it up here so it doesn't burn on me. But um, let's see how well she does. Nice slow burning fuse. I've used these uh, in my uh, homemade fireworks. You may have seen those videos. If not, go check those out. My homemade mortar shells. Used E-matches. I've used these. So this is a nice slow burning fuse. And so long as it's kept dry, you can see that it uh, still works pretty good. They work better when they're brand new. So I'd, I would recommend if you're going to make these, that you uh, you make them and, and use them. Don't make a bunch up in advance and store them. So there you go. Let's try. That was a dark one. I'll I'll go through the process of how to make these here in just a second. Let's try a let's try a lighter colored one. See how well that works. That one's got a lot of a lot of slag kind of on it. Big old fat end here. A lot of wind today. Hopefully the uh, wind generator will pick up. It's kind of hard to do one-handed there. There it goes. It blew itself up. Oh, let's see here. Come on. Light. Well, the light one, the lighter colored, which is not as uh, cooked as the darker ones, don't seem to be holding up as well. You wouldn't want that to happen if you were depending on that fuse going off. Let's try this end. There you go. They're softer. They seem to have maybe some more moisture in it. Let's see if I can get this to focus on that. Super slow burning. It's too uh, too sporadic. I wouldn't want to. Uh, I wouldn't want to rely on this one. Look at that. I don't know if that was true or not. <laughs> yep, blew 
the end of it right off. So, um, like I said, um, you definitely want to make them and use them. Now, this would have worked great when it was first made. Let's try again one of the one of the darker colored ones. See how well that does. That one's a little sporadic as well. All right. Um, the way I made these are, um, what I did was I took a uh, potassium nitrate, uh, 60%, and I took a 40% uh, regular table cane sugar. Yeah, that one's burning like crazy. And... Uh, I mixed them together with some water, made a paste out of it. I heated it up on a, on a heat source in a um, Teflon pan, and I made like a like a syrup type of type, type of thing. Not a syrup, you know, just it, it thickened up. Basically, melted the two together. Uh, used just a uh, oh, I'm sorry, I don't know if I said water. I didn't use water. Um, the potassium nitrate and the sugar, I just it melted. Um, and uh, um, and then after I, I, I ran the this is cotton string that I used for the fuse material. Um, I ran the cotton string in there, and uh, and then I uh, I laid the string out in strips on a baking pan. I baked it in the oven. Uh, at about 300 degrees, and uh, and this is what you get, and that's where some of them had a little bit more, a little bit more on there, like uh, like this one. You see where it was flat because it was laying on the baking pan like this. And uh, I've used a lot of the good fuses out of here already when I was making the uh, when I was making the fireworks. So, but anyway, that's uh that's that. Um, if you're going to make those, be super careful because you're you're melting potassium nitrate and sugar together uh, over a high heat source. So it's something you want to have done outdoors. Um, I, I baked them in the oven and uh, and it, it stunk up the house. So you want to make sure uh, if you got if you got a, a way to bake them, you know, outdoors, uh, that'd be the way to go. But uh, just be careful. Um, Alright, if you have any questions, let me know. But otherwise, there's my uh, homemade fuses. Alright, thanks.